question students which disease is caused by mycoplasma before seeing the um, options let me give you some information about what a mycoplasma is mycoplasma is a very simple and smallest free living prokaryote it measures about 0.1 to 0.15 micrometer in its size it is known to cause number of diseases like witch's broom another disease is sandal spike which is a disease caused in sandalwood so if you see the plants which are infected by these mycoplasma you can see that the leaves are highly reduced in size and if you observe with the internode the internode will be stiff and short in short it gives a bunch kind of an appearance or we can say it gives the appearance of spike like inflorescence i hope you know what is spike inflorescence when there is a bunch of sessile flowers or flowers without pedicel attached to the inflorescence axis it is called spike so here also since the leaves are very small and they are placed very close to each other it gives the appearance of a spike inflorescence that's why the name comes sandal spike disease now let's see the other options a rust rust is actually a disease caused by a fungus called paxinia that's why paxinia is also called rust fungus the wheat plant or the plant which is infected by this particular fungus will show the presence of rust like appearance or the pustules will appear brown in color citrus canker that is the third option this is a disease which is caused in citrus species like lime lemon orange etc it is caused by a bacteria this bacteria is known by the name xanthomonas if you observe the fruit or the plant or leaves which are infected by this disease it shows the presence of brown colored corky structures all over the last one sleeping sickness sleeping sickness is actually a disease which we observe in different types of animals including human beings this particular disease is caused by a flagellated protozoa the person who is infected by this particular disease cannot have a normal kind of a life because he will have lot of fatigue severe headache then uncontrollable sleep during day time which has given the name sleeping sickness so it is caused by an organism trypanosoma which is nothing but a flagellated protozoa so according to that option a rust is caused by a fungus b is caused by mycoplasma c is caused by a bacteria and the last one sleeping sickness is caused by a flagellated protozoa so the right answer is b sandal spike now a very interesting question students archibacteria differ from eubacteria in the following respect the options are they inhibit extreme environment cell membrane consist of branched lipids they have unique defense mechanism last option is b as well as a now before picking the right option let's see what is the difference between archibacteria and eubacteria when we were studying the kingdom monera we had studied a unique group called archibacteria these archibacteria are different from the normal bacteria or what we call the true bacteria we are all aware of certain things which we do in our daily life for example if food has to be not spoiled by the bacteria we keep them in refrigerator at a very low temperature this is because the low temperature will not allow the bacteria to multiply similarly when we make pickle or when we prepare jam we add lot of uh, uh, salt or sugar respectively this is also because it will kill the bacteria which are growing in it because of plasmolysis so normal bacteria or eu bacteria they cannot survive in extreme conditions whereas archibacteria they are capable of inhibiting or living in extreme conditions for example very high temperature in acidic medium in high salt condition in all these conditions where normal or eu bacteria die these can survive 
So the next question will be what makes them capable of living in all these areas? Why they do not die? How they survive? The reason for this is if you observe the cell wall of Archaebacteria, it is not made up of pep peptidoglycan. It consists of a non-cellulosic polysaccharide as well as proteins. In some members we also come across pseudomurin also. Now when we talk about the cell membrane, the cell membrane is made up of a monolayer of branched chain lipids. So this is also a unique feature. Now the, uh, to uh, mention another unique feature, 16S ribosomal RNA. It is having unique nucleotides which makes it different from the normal bacteria. So because of such unique features, they are capable of living and surviving in very extreme conditions. So now let's see the options. First option, they inhibit extreme environment. This sentence is right. Next one, cell membrane consists of branched lipids. This statement is also correct. C, they have unique defense mechanism. Here we have not mentioned about what is the unique feature. So we can discard that particular option and the right option is D which consists of A as well as B. Now let's see the next question. The parasitic fungi take their food from the host with the help of options paraphysis, sori, Conidia and Hostoria. Let us see each of the options carefully. First one, Paraphysis. These are nothing but sterile filament like structures which are present in between the sex organs. For example, in between Antheridia or in between Archegonium, we find some sterile filaments. These sterile filaments are called Paraphysis. Sori. Sora is nothing but a cluster or a group of sporangium that is bags which consist of spores they are called sporangium. So a cluster of sporangium forms what is called a sorus the plural of sorus is sori. Conidia. Conidia are nothing but the asexual spores produced by fungi. Last one Hostoria. Hostoria these are button like or slightly branched structures which are found at the tip of hypha. These are basically found in the parasitic fungi because they push these structures or they make these structures penetrate into the host cell and then they start absorbing the ready made food which is prepared by the host. So the right answer is D. Hostoria. Mm -hmm. 